Hello and welcome to a bright and sunny county ground in Letchworth for Hertfordshire FA's Women's Cup Final between Stevenage Ladies and Watford Ladies under 19s. The Borough required extra time to get past Royston Town Ladies in the semi-final as they look to retain the cup they won for the first time in their history last year. Manager Josie North will be hoping that McGuigan puts on his shooting boots having already netted three times in this year's competition. Meanwhile, Watford ladies under-19s come into this match with a confident sky high, averaging over four and a half goals per game so far, and still unbeaten in the league, winning 10 of their 12 league matches. Manager Michael Williams will be hoping that his young squad will add to the 17 goals that they've scored in this cup run. With both sides scoring freely and flying high in their respective leagues, and almost perfect conditions here, we should be in for a high-quality, fast-paced final. Was swung in, dealt with by the first time the defence, but comes out. Tries to have a shot, but it's uh, come past. It's a second chance of a shot, and it's just gone wide. Plays it towards the area, flicked on by Jardine. She gets to tries to get her own header, but Watford eventually get it clear. But it's headed back towards goal, but uh, Gorton does well to jump up to catch the high ball there. She throws it out instantly. Brought down nicely. Farrell gets past one, plays it through to War Rose. In the area, has a shot. The goalkeeper does well and pounces on the ball. Roberts in goal. Well intercepted. Watford now, real chance for the skipper to, to launch an attack. Plays it up to War Rose. Plays it back to Fiskin, who has a shot with the left. Stephen is getting playback going. Jardine swings it in with the right. That's a dangerous looking ball. Headed in the air, but just, just wide and over the bar. Farrell. Plays it upfield. And Dern gets a nice touch in there. She, midfield that goes on another one. She gets past another one. She's got one defender in front of her. Goes one way, goes the other. Has it. Look, have a shot with the left and just wide. On the right, pulls Amy Dern there. Unlucky. She made the space for herself. Thrown in field. Amy Dern uh, to Farrell. Plays it up. Warner turns past the defender. Has a shot with the left. This wide. Gets past one challenge. Midfield are running towards the area. She's got Two in front of her, plays it out to Webbington, it's inside the area, plays it into his goal, it's just over the bar. In strong, some space on the far side for Nicole Pushki. She's in here, she's got Wilson in front of her, she's got McGuigan inside, looking to shoot. Gets the ball back, plays it over the top, looking for McGuigan. Gets the ball via deflection, leaves it for Jardine. Just has a shot in from the far side, but uh, uh, it's gone out over. Stephen Hager doing all the pressurising early on. That's well broke down by Jocelyn. She's got three in front of her. Plays it out to Jardine. Flicks it on the corner to North. Oh, has a shot. North swings the ball in. And it's towards the back, it's the back post and it's eventually cleared. First, Jocelyn picks it up. And the pressure on two Watford defenders. And uh, on the attack, she's got four with her in this attack. If she looks still going, then the cross now gives it back. The defence came out to clear down, but another chance of a shot! And it's just, oh! It's gone in the back of the net! Via the crossbar! Logged over the goalkeeper, hit the crossbar, and I think came back off the goalkeeper's back. I think it was number four, I Chloe Farrell, who scores the opening goal in the 57th minute. It's Steelers Ladies nil, Watford Ladies Development under 19s won. And the pressure from uh, Wood Thompson, if they find the teammate. But then Stevenage get the ball back, but that's been played across goal. And it's uh, come back. Richards turns inside, shoots with the left. Goalkeeper gets behind it. Down the line, the substitute gets the first touch. Ball's given away, played to Bevington across the field. Looks to turn Wood Thompson. Bevington has a shot! Oh, good shot or target there with the goalkeeper. Swung in towards the penalty spot. That's beautiful. That's gone. Oh! Fingertip save. Ball swung in. In the air, Wood Thompson wins it. It's only as far as Dern. Gives it to Bevington. Plays it in first time. Farrell's in the back post. He's onside. A touch. Just lets it down that time. Flicked on, but it's uh, Farrell who plays it through here. Looking for Bevington. She's in. And she's passed. Oh, there, past the goalkeeper. Emma Bevington 
the Bills Watford lead to develop under the 19th lead in the 60, 70, third minute even. Goal kick came out, not dealt with. Bevington found herself in some space, threw with the goalkeeper and slotted it coolly past Robert in the goal. And with the 17 minutes left, it's Stevenage ladies nil, Watford ladies development under 19s two. Three again in this attack for Watford. Warner comes in field. Plays it through to Bevington. Nice turn there by the winger. Bevington tries to flick it up and shoot. On target, but no real power behind it. So the goalkeeper plays it in with the right. Headed in the air by Clara but just over the bar. That means tries to play it back over the top. Plays it across field. Persky plays it in to Jocelyn, who's in, in here, has a shot, and it's, oh! it's off the crossbar. Now for a goal kick. Kick on in Persky towards the back post, headed by Godbier. It's just over the bar. And the Danish ladies get it clear. And that's it. The final whistle has gone. Watford ladies development under 19s win the Hertfordshire FA Women's Cup for the first time. Chloe Farrow gave them the lead in the 56th minute with a beautiful shot off the crossbar and then hit the goalkeeper before going in. Before um, Emma Bevington, in the 73rd minute, from a poor goal kick, got the ball one on one and slotted it back to the goalkeeper. Final score here at the county ground Stevenage ladies nil, Watford ladies development under 19s two.